Hey, hey guys, guys, it's Pursuing, Pursuing Bunnies. Bunnies. We're back with Date Warp and on the thing of Yay! Yay! So, let's just jump right into this. We were strangers and he took us in without hesitation. He's been nothing but kind to me, to everyone. And he doesn't do it to impress people or try to win some advantage in return. It's just the way he is. I never really trusted the opposite sex. The little neighborhood boy I played with pushed me in the mud. Boys at school were loud, obnoxious troublemakers who ignored me until the chance came to humiliate me. I thought she went to an all-girls school. They said they had a brother school. Yeah, Maybe but... Maybe that's what she's... Ma that is sort of implicating something different, but... Yeah, that's... That could have been worded a little less Better. confusingly. Yeah. yeah. Bradley was my first date, and that was a total failure. Not that I was expecting much. I didn't go out with him because I liked him or anything. Still, tricking me into a trap like this doesn't raise my opinion of men in general. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. I've never known a boy that I could trust with something as fragile as a flower. With, Nathan with Nathaniel, I feel I could tell him every anything. What, you're not going to show us that pretty picture of Nathaniel with flowers again? No, it's going to be this face with the dead eyes. That is so terrible. Like, I do not understand why his smile, why, why they chose that for his happy face. It's more, like, to me, this is more horrible than Lindsay's creeper face. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Share my every secret and he would never hurt me. It makes me realize how lonely I've been. That I can ache at the thought of having someone to tell my dreams to. And he lives here in silk robes in this grand mansion like a storybook prince in a castle. I can't imagine myself in a ball gown and slippers rolling around the dance floor with him as my partner. Oh, it said can, not can't. Okay. He would smile at me and every step would be certain. But there's something sad in Nathaniel's eyes, some burden he cannot share. It's like my mother, the time she was very ill and I was bringing her breakfast in bed. She sat up very straight and was completely calm and dignified. She didn't even complain about the... Parathos? Parathos? Yeah, I'd burned. I assume this is some sort of Indian dish. Yeah, she just told me that she loved me. It wasn't until I was much older that I realized how much she'd been hiding from me, how bad, how, and how bad things could have been. In him, I see the same weary grace, that same mask of perfection, and I don't know what lies behind it. I may trust him, but he does not trust me. He is always polite to me, but nothing more. I want something more. Alright, Raphael and Nathaniel in the sitting room. I wonder if this is going to be the same... I think it's, yeah, probably the story about education. Yeah. And anything that's different, the fast forward will, the fast forward will automatically stop. Alright. <clears throat> so, okay, Al... Alvin just admitted to cheating on a lover. I think... Do we scold him or do we stay quiet? I mean, I know Nathaniel's kind of... I think... Try scolding him. Okay. I mean, the worst thing that can happen is we get the bad route, which we're going to get at some point anyway. Yeah. What should Janet say she's never done? Hmm. Uh. Hmm. I don't even know. Daniel is so much more difficult than the others to really read just because of that, what she just said with him being like, so, like, him hiding behind a mask. It's hard to really judge him. Yeah, so, I don't think he really reacted to either of these, did no, he? No, he really didn't. Um, try bo broken a bone. Okay, I know broken a bone. See if anything new comes up. It shouldn't. No. I mean, sometimes a line or two will pop into those. Yeah. Alright, I find Nathaniel in his sitting room. 
Good morning. You've just missed Bradley, I'm afraid. I know. I passed him in the hall. I wasn't looking for him. I was looking for you. Ah, well, what can I do for you? I was hoping to be able to do something for you. I'm planning to make dinner for everyone tonight. Do you like spicy Indian food? I don't think I've had Indian food, but I'm afraid I don't generally enjoy hot spices. Still, I'm sure some of the others will appreciate it. But I want to make something that you'll like, too. What's something you do like, then? I have always been fine of salmon quiche. I think there was some frozen salmon, but I'd rather not cook with meat. That's right. You're a vegetarian. I wouldn't ask you to go against your faith. It's not a religious thing. Which is really weird to me. Like... Yeah, that seems weird to, to me, too. Like, to be a vegetarian, like, um... I mean, for a real... Like, to have a reason for it. That makes sense to me. Like, I'm not a vegetarian. But if you are a vegetarian, there should be a reason. And if it's, you know, that you feel like it's bad for you health-wise... Then I don't really see why it would be a problem to cook with it. But right. if it's like a thing where you're just like, I don't want to kill animals, then you would at least have that reason. And I feel like she hasn't really given a solid reason. I mean, it doesn't have to be religious, but she just doesn't seem to really yeah. have a reason. It's just well, kind maybe, of random. Maybe we'll get, maybe Nathaniel will get it out of her. Yeah. Let's... I mean, I suppose it is a little bit because my family has never fed me meat growing up. Oh. Well, well okay. Indians uh, typically don't eat, like, cow meat. Um, but I don't know that other meats are off limits. It, I guess that depends on the religious beliefs. Like, okay, I can, I can understand, like, her concern because actually, um, when I was little, my, I, I went to a church that believed that you did not eat pork or ham or anything like that. And, like, I didn't get it, so, I, I mean, I had never eaten pork, but one day I was at a friend's house, and she, I mean, she had made, like, it was ham a sandwich or something. It made me sick, because I wasn't used to eating that kind of food. Mm -hmm. So, I guess if it's something that is a habit of yours, first of all, something like that can make your body react, second yes. of all, it's... Um, it's just gonna, it's kind of odd to you, because I, I know, like, I can eat pork now, but I did not eat, like, pork or ham very much for a while. I sort of had to sort of gradually get up to the point where I could stand it without getting sick. In any case, <laughs> um, so maybe we will find out what's going on with Janet. Yeah. Mostly, I don't think it's fair to kill helpless animals and eat them. Okay, there, she has a reason. Thank you, Janet. At least now I have a reason for it. Yay. I see. Well, if eggs and milk are all right for you, I'd be perfectly happy with some other kind of quiche. Spinach, maybe? That should be all right. I've never made a quiche, though. Do you have a recipe? I'm not certain. I don't generally cook. He has a library. <laughs> Like, are there no cookbooks in your library uh, that has, like, 12 trillion books? Then your chef must keep cookbooks somewhere in the house. Unless all your recipes are family figures passed down from generation to generation and never shared with commoners. Commoners? What do you think I am? Oops. Oh, well, Atlanta is part of England. Do you have a... And you do have a queen, so you could be some sort of nobility. You're at the very least very rich. You look rich. Yeah. We don't have hereditary titles here. There are individual honors, but they aren't passed on to the family. Oh. So it's like a constitutional demar demar er, monarchy? monarchy? Okay, <laughs> sure, why not? Oh. It doesn't make a difference he's, if he, he's technically not a prince or a lord. He's still more wealthy and elegant than anyone I've ever known. Anyway, I believe that cookbooks would most likely be in the pantry office. There's an office in the pantry or pantry in the office. <laughs> oh, Janet. <laughs> well. Come and see. 
He leads me through the house, past the kitchen, to a small, plain-looking room which contains books and spices behind protective glass. A day planner lies open. This is like... Okay, first of all, this is our first time seeing this room. Yeah. So, there's that. Second of all... Why would you have a room like this? Well, okay, if you have a chef that, like, all they do is they come and they plan your meals and, like, they cook okay. for your events and da-da-da-da-da, maybe this would be, like, their office where they came and planned. I mean, I don't know why it would take this long, like, long enough to meet an office, but, you know. Yeah. That's... I mean, maybe he has events catered a lot and... Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. I just feel like this room is odd and unnecessary <laughs> maybe it was just there and they were like well what do we need to make this into oh we don't really have a reason for it let's just take it into a pantry office <laughs> <laughs> i mean they could have just made it a pantry they didn't have to make it an office uh, okay all right i don't come in here often this room was originally intended as a work area for servants who needed space to fold in men laundry. Well, now we know what it was for. Okay. However, my mother sometimes used it as a private, private office. She said she could think better without the distractions of luxury around her. Okay. He picks up the day planner from the desk, closing it and filing it with the other books. Do your parents visit here a lot? They have not been in this house since my 18th birthday. Oh. They moved to Williamsburg during the recession to keep a closer eye on their business interests. I was busy with my studies. Of course, you were at university. What did you study? Art history, with a minor concentration in religion. Art history, not one of my favorite subjects. Callie! How do you feel about art history? <laughs> well, being the art major. Yeah. <laughs> I have to disagree with Janet on this one. You like art history? I like studying um, older forms of art. I Like, I don't necessarily get really dates and stuff down, but I do like looking at techniques like within like certain periods like the renaissance era and whatever um just as and i like especially studying different cultures uh art especially like asian art especially and um, like their traditional art because that's pretty cool so i mean i guess i would say i like art history okay so anyway you don't care for the arts it's not that I'm not sure if most high schools teach art history at all. Ours did because it makes us sound very cultured, which is, which they like. But they pack the entire history of art around the world into one semester, which meant that we never had time to learn about anything. Blech. All we did was memorize names and dates and famous works of art. I got good grades because I'm good at memorizing lists, but it was very boring. See, that's, that's the way you kill art, people. Just make us memorize. See, I don't necessarily know, like, names and dates of specific paintings, but, I mean, I can study the technique of stuff. We're being blown away. If you're hearing weird noises, that's what that is. <laughs> yeah, it's raining outside. Anyway. Since this is a different world, none of those names and dates mean anything at all. They're, those people probably don't exist here. So in the end, I don't know much about art. Not in, the academic, not in an academic way. Art is something that should be savored slowly in order to appreciate all the details. He obviously appreciates beautiful things from the look of this house and his fine silk robes. Despite my schooling, I'm not as cultured or as sophisticated as he is. I want him to think well of me, but I don't want to pretend to be something I'm not, so I search for something to say that's both positive and true. And I like art when I can explore it at my own pace. When I was little, my parents took me to antique shows. I hated if they tried to make me to take me around to make me look at Persian rugs and old silverware, but when they let me go around on my own, I found clocks and watches and thimbles, and I like those a lot. 
Antique clocks and watches are great because they're working machines, but they're so pretty. Some of them have the moon and sun rotate. Oh, I forgot you don't like old clocks. I appreciate the look of tall clocks. I just don't like listening to them tick all day long. I don't either. Yeah, you may notice that there is no sound of ticking in this room. <laughs> we don't have an old clock. Aurora doesn't have an old clock yeah. in a room. Why are you saying we? <laughs> this is my room. <laughs> Try oh, to well. move in on my space, are you? Uh. I will sick my wiki on you. <laughs> Your wiki is, cannot be bothered right yeah, now. Yeah, my wiki is quite it. asleep. <laughs> Alright, anyway. When it's the only sound I can hear in the house, it becomes unpleasant. Ugh. Yeah, that could get annoying. We had small ticking we had a small ticking clock, but I couldn't hear it unless I was in the room with it. And very quiet. Between Raja and my family and the television. You do have television in this world, don't you? Yes, but much of it seems to be too loud and in poor taste. Hey, that's my opinion of television today. You're here. <laughs> I would rather spend my time listening to music. Same. I'm liking Nathaniel. He's. I can relate to Nathaniel here. Mm hmm. That sounds nice. Nathaniel takes a moment to scan through the shelves, finally picking out a book and handing it to me. I believe there's a recipe for quiche in here. But don't worry about it too much. I'm sure whatever you make will be fine. I want to do my best. I'm sure you will. As we prepare to leave the room, my eyes fall on the desk again. Nathaniel has a bachelor's degree. He's got to be in his 20s. If his parents haven't been here since he was 18, who was using the state planner? The butler? Possibly, but... I mean, we know that Robert... Took the dog somewhere. Yeah, so maybe it's Robert's day planner. I don't know. But anyway, I feel like we've been going for probably too long. Probably. <laughs> so we are going to end it here for today or for this part. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.